Hi, my name is Danielle Dockery. Today I'm going to introduce you to an optical strain measuring technique called photoelasticity. Photoelasticity involves taking optically sensitive material and shaping it or forming it into the dimensions of a standard structure that you're concerned about that might be undergoing a particular level of strain or stress. Sometimes you can do that by using 2D models uh, in this case, a flat sheet that can be simply machined into the dimensions of the spec of the part that you're looking at. Or it could be a round specimen, as we see here. Uh, in either case, you can take these types of structures, model any material or any uh, flat structure you might be trying to analyze, or 2D structure that you're trying to analyze, and you can take the modeling material, expose it to real loads that are symmetric or synonymous to the same loads that you are applying to your real test piece, and ultimately creating an output that is scalable and synonymous to the actual test load. So if you were building something out of, let's say, a piece of steel, maybe it's a physical device like a vice grip, you may find that with the vice grip, to put enough load on it to produce enough signal, it might require an emphasis of a larger magnitude of force. But with the modeling material, you can take the same geometrical design, put fractions of a load on that design, still get an idea of where the stress is happening most on the part, where it's strongest and where it's weakest, and then take the optical response and the data associated with that and turn it into physical strains specific to the part itself. So here we see again a model of a vice grip. Here's another good example, a bicycle spoke, where you might mount here the pedals for your bicycle. So ultimately you could take any model, any 3D structure and either machine it out of the block material or you can actually use the liquid form of the material as well to produce a similar model for loading as well. So you do see this type of analysis happening on larger structures as well. You can use what's called a transmission polariscope, which simply passes light through a filter system through the part and allows you to visually see the optical response that is happening on the structure while you're pushing and pulling on the part. Uh, these types of filter systems can be as small as 12 inches in diameter or as large as 18 inches in diameter as well, depending on the size and scope of the part that you're trying to analyze. But again, it is a model, so it is only a reference to the strain levels that you're going to see. For the real quantitative information, you have to use a ratiometric correction between the polymer and the structure that you're using, whether it be steel, aluminum, or titanium. So if you want to find out the strains on the surface of the part, there is a completely different technique that we use that is not known as photoelasticity directly, it is called photostress. And we will talk about that technique shortly.